This is the easiest way to install Distant Horizons 1.21.5 in Minecraft. Let's go ahead and begin. Now to begin, go ahead and click on the second link in the description, which is a written guide on how to download and install Distant Horizons. If you were to get lost at any moment of this video, you could always go back to that guide and look at the screenshots and stuff. But if you just want to follow along, scroll down to step one and click on the Distant Horizons button. That is going to redirect you right here where we're going to select 1.21.5 and then we're going to hit the download button and the download will begin right away. Now, as you can see here, this version is compatible with Fabric and NeoForge. So you will need a mod loader. And if you don't have a mod loader, don't worry because I'm going to teach you how to get one super quick in this video. But if you already do, make sure this is the mod loader you're running. Now, once we download that file, let's go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop. And like I was saying earlier, if you already have a mod loader like NeoForge, you could add this mod into your mods folder and you're done. If you have Fabric, you could add this mod into your mods folder, but make sure you're also running the Fabric API and you are done. But if you don't have a mod loader, then let's keep going with this guide. What you want to do next is download a mod loader. In this case, I'm going to download NeoForge because it's a little bit faster than Fabric, but feel free to download Fabric. The process is going to be pretty similar. If you want to download NeoForge as me, click on the third link in the description and scroll down to step one. Remember, you could always read through the guide in case you get lost. But once you scroll down to step one, you could just click on NeoForge. And then over here, we're going to choose the 1.21.5 version. For that, I want you to go ahead and click on for other versions. Click here to go to the version list and then look for 1.21.5 over here on the right side. As you can see, it's selected by default, but if it's not, you could just scroll down and find it and then hit download. That'll begin the download right away for NeoForge. Now, once we download the NeoForge installer, go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop, just like we did with the Distant Horizons mod. And now we are pretty much ready to begin. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have closed your Minecraft launcher as well as your Minecraft game, and then just go ahead and double click on the NeoForge installer, which will open this little prompt in here. Let it load. There we go. And if it didn't open, don't worry. I'm going to teach you how to fix the mod if it doesn't open. But if it did open, go ahead and select install client and click proceed. And like I was saying, if the installer didn't open, that's because you need Java 21. Guys, this is not optional. This is a requirement. Any Minecraft above Minecraft 1.20.5 will require you to have Java 21 when installing mods. So I'm going to leave this guide in the description down below. It's really simple. You just download Java 21, hit next a couple of times, and you will have Java installed and you'll be able to open this installer. Now let's wait for NeoForge to finish installing. And there we go. NeoForge finished installing. Let's go ahead and hit OK. And now we could even delete the installer of NeoForge from our desktop. We could also delete this file in here. And now the next step is pretty important because we need to add this mod into the game. Go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher. And of course, while the Minecraft launcher opens, if you need a Minecraft server, guys, use the first link in the description and get 25% off with Apex hosting. This is a great deal for those of you that are looking for a server that supports over 200 mod packs, servers that have locations all around the world so you can complain about lagging or your friends can complain about lagging. And if you want to support this channel, go ahead and use that first link to get 25% off when you create your first server with Apex hosting. And now let's keep going with the tutorial. If we install NeoForge properly, we should see it selected here automatically. As you can see, that's the case for me. And now it's time to add the mod. To do so, head over to installations on the top and now make sure that modded is selected. Without modded, you actually won't see NeoForge in here. So you have to select that. And if you're still not seeing NeoForge, guys, something you could do is click on new installation and then look for NeoForge in here and then select it name it whatever you want, and then click install on the bottom right, right? If you don't see NeoForge in here, but most of you should. And now it's time to add the mod. To do so, hover over NeoForge and click on this little folder icon in here. That is going to open the installation folder of Minecraft, which contains a lot of files, but we are specifically looking for another folder called mods in here. And as you can see, my mod folder is right here, but I'm actually going to delete it. And the reason I deleted it was to teach you what happens if you don't have a mods folder. Well, the solution is easy. Just click on new, click folder and name it mods, M-O-D-S. It's that easy, guys. If you don't have the mods folder, create it yourself. Go ahead and open that mods folder. And once we open this mods folder, we're going to go ahead and add that Distant Horizons mod file that we put in our desktop earlier. Just go ahead and select it and drag and drop it into here. Now, guys, if you're adding this mod for Fabric, make sure you have Fabric API. And if you're adding this mod with other mods, just make sure that all those other mods are compatible with the mod loader that you're using, in this case, NeoForge, and that they're also updated to Minecraft 1.21.5. Head back to the launcher and launch your game using the mod loader. If you get this prompt in here, you can read more about play safety features and then hit understand 
Man and then hit play. Now guys, when Minecraft open, you should see Neoforge all over it because that means we install Neoforge properly. And you should also see this mod button in here, but we would actually see that Distant Horizons is here. But let's go ahead and test it. Let's go ahead and launch a single player world. Distant Horizons will work on multiplayer as well because it is a client side mod. And if you need a multiplayer server, of course, use the first link in the description and support the channel. Now I'm under the caves in here. So let me go up to the overworld. The Distant Horizons mod is loading. You gotta give it some times because depending on your computer, it's going to take a little bit, okay? This is a heavy mod, but we could regulate how long the Distant Horizons loads and also how it loads by pressing escape, heading over to options and then heading over to this button right here on the top left. And as you can see, you have settings for Distant Horizons. Of course, you could change everything in here. How much do you want to put on your CPU? Depending if your CPU is high end, you could change that into more into like aggressive or even I paid for the whole CPU and you could change the quality preset of the render to lower the quality of what's rendering by making the game faster. Of course, you also have advanced options in here and feel free to play with the settings in here, guys, however you find fit for your game. I know my game is laggy right now, but I don't have the most powerful computer per se, so it's understandable. And if you're not recording while doing this, you shouldn't worry that much about it. If this video helped you, don't forget to subscribe and as always, bye bye.